everyone, I'm Alice Kingdom. I'm the owner and face behind Body and Brows, um, a semi-permanent makeup and advanced beauty business. Um, I know a lot of you are struggling uh, sometimes to do your brows and shape them at home. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial today just with some basic simple steps that could help you. So uh, before we get do anything, we'll have a look at what I'm gonna use. Um, a good pair of tweezers is essential so if you come and visit me to have your brows done um, I use a combination of waxing and threading and tweezing to get your brows into the right shape um, most of you won't have those tools at home so a good pair of tweezers is essential um, I love these ones from Benefit they're really nice and sharp um, I also like tweezer man tweezers um, I like that this has got a little brush on the end as well to help me groom um, at the end um, so a good pair of tweezers is essential uh, the other thing that I use is some thread. So um, this is vanity threading thread, but you can use anything that you have at home. It doesn't matter what color it is. It doesn't really matter what thickness. Um, you can use dental floss if you don't have thread to hand. Um, and this is uh, how we're going to do our measurements and make sure that we're taking uh, hair away from the right place and not taking it away from the places where we want it. You're also going to want a dark pencil so this isn't going to be for using on your brows it's going to be for using to coat your thread um, when we coat the thread we the thread will then um, help mark our skin in the right places so we want something dark a black eyeliner a brown eyeliner um, it doesn't really matter um, because we're going to be taking this off the skin afterwards um, and then uh, to powder and finish I've got um, some brow powder. I like this one by Anastasia Brows. It's a little duo. It's got a light and um, a dark in there and also a little mirror. Um, and then an angled brow brush. Um, this is a relatively inexpensive one from Salon Services. Salon Services brushes are made by the Sally branch so you can buy those online. Um, that's my favorite one at the moment. Uh, and then I've got some baby wipes to um, just wipe the skin afterwards. So I've done the rest of my makeup just because I didn't want to look too pale and ghostly for doing the video, but I have nothing on my brows at the moment. Um, they're quite grown out, as you can see. This is my naughty brow. This is the eyebrow that has generally less hair on it. Um, I'm desperate for a, a top up on my semi-permanent makeup. Um, so at the moment it really is just a case of um, tailoring the shape for me and um, filling in with some powder to give a little bit more definition. So what we're gonna do, if you grab a length of thread, about 20, 30 centimeters long, just enough so that you can grab and wind the ends around your fingers and then take your pencil and run that thread through the pencil. I don't know if you can see there, but we're picking up color. And that's gonna help as your guidelines. It can be really, really hard to know where to take away on your brow or where to leave. That's what a lot of people um, tend to struggle with. So we're gonna use this um, for our measurements. So once you've done that, I'm gonna coat it five or six times just so that you've got some color on it and then you're going to wind it around your fingers so that it's nice and tight and we're going to put some marks on the skin so if i come in a little bit close and i've got a mirror here as well my first one i'm going to look at the bottom of my brow so that's nice and straight it sits where my natural hair kind of begins, almost like the brows are sitting on a ledge or sitting on a wall. And then my second one is how thick I want them to be. Again, nice straight line. And then my third one is going to connect the arches of my brows. So I've got three straight lines. As I say, don't worry too much about these at this point, we're gonna take these off. This is just for guidance. This side's a little bit higher than the other. So let me just rectify that. Okay. So we've got where our brow starts, we've got the thickness, and then we've got the arches connected at the top. 
Now we're going to work out where our brows should start. So if you have a look at your nose and what you want to do is try and mark the center point right in the middle of your brows. You can mark down the whole of your face if it's easier to do that. But what we're doing is we're giving ourselves a center point. A lot of us have one brow that starts a little slightly further over or further in than the other. Um, and this is a really good visual to be able to work out where your brows should start. So we've got our middle line and we're then gonna go across. So where our brows should start, is this a little part of our nostril here, that's where you want them to start. So I'm looking for that curve and I'm marking up. And that should give you two lines approximately uh, the same distance away. So this brow starts exactly where I want it to. This brow on my face starts a little bit further in. So I'm just going to mark that so that I can see where that is. We're now going to mark the ideal place for our brows to finish. And by doing that, we're going to take the measurement from the corner of our nose through the corner of our eye and up that way. So that's showing me where we're going to finish. I'm going to do the same on this side. So I've got a few stragglers down here and a few stragglers down here, which we can get rid of. I'm going to connect these two here, just giving myself a nice flat line over my brow bone. And I also want a nice flat line on the top. And you can check that they're nice and relatively even through the middle here. Now, if I was doing semi-permanent makeup on myself, I'd make sure that those were absolutely spot on, but we're not doing anything permanent today. We're just removing some hairs. I just want to give myself um, a rough guidance and a rough guide for you as well. So these top lines here, when we're doing our bottom shaping, we want our brows to be parallel at the fronts so that almost like two train tracks so or a set of train tracks going up and then on this side we come down to a point and we're going to work that out so that it gives us where we're going to shape so if i come in nice and closely so you'll see that we've got this nice flat line at the top. We'll have this nice flat line at the bottom. And I can see now that everything that I need to take out is all under here. I've given my tweezers a workout. I've gone um, along underneath this line and underneath this line. Uh, we've taken off a little bit of the length here. Um, I've taken away the little bits that came outside of that line. Now I'm ready to have a clean up and get these crazy looking markings off my face. So I'm gonna take my makeup wipe. And I can already see that my brows, which were grown out about three or four weeks, so quite a long time. As a brow artist myself, it's usually my own brows that get done last. Looking a bit pink from the plucking, but you can see I have a much better shape there's still some hairs there which I need to get rid of not spent as much time as I might ordinarily making sure that I get rid of every single one of them but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to do um, your shaping 
Um, and I will show you how um, how I like to apply powder to mine. I wear mine quite natural. Um, I tend to use a pencil or a powder. Um, a lot of people like pomades, which are more like a paste, but for me, they're a bit too bold and vibrant um, for the makeup look that I generally tend to wear. Um, so powder suits me just fine. I'll grab my brush. I'm just gonna go over that area the little of my base just because it's looking a bit pink I'm going to give my brows a quick brush if you do get any long ones you can always use a little pair of scissors so you can brush them up and then kind of cut them along the top so give them a little bit of a brush and now using my angle brush I like to dab very gently into my product and then I take off any excess onto my hand. I don't want to go too heavy um, first off into my brow because we can always build. If we put in too much straight away, then we, we, we've overdone it and we then have to take it off. So we're just going to go in bit by bit. So using my angle brush and using my finger as a balancing point, I'm going to literally think about drawing a line I don't know if you can see that here so this is my so this is my naughty side I've got much less brow hair going on here than I have on this side so I'm just building that nice line underneath and I'm then going to build another straight line down again not a lot of product on my brush here I don't want it harsh and then another straight line down from the top. With hardly any product on my brush now, I'm now creating my line across the top. And you can see now how easy that's been to try and create a shape. And now I just fill in. So I'm gonna blend that line upwards and into my brow. like so again I'm going to do the same on the other side so I'm going to do my load up my brush dab off any excess use my brush to create that nice straight line underneath carry that on down my arch down my tail under the arch Again, the top, and then this top part is done with hardly any product on the brush. We want that top part to be nice and soft, and then we're just filling in. I always like to give myself a bit of a, a frown just to check that they're as even as possible. and just another spare brush just so I can go through soften that up there's no product on this brush at all I'm just going through and softening it there we go very quick brow tutorial um would probably spend some time fluffing them up making them a bit softer through the front especially this one here
so i hope you enjoyed it you can find plenty of other other um tutorials on my youtube channel body and brows um, we've also got an instagram page and a facebook under the same name so that's me alice kingdom from body and brows hope you enjoyed it